Hey, it's Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me on today's video. Yesterday, we had a look at what's new in Plant 3D 2020, and today I just wanted to have a, a quick look at what was new in Infraworks 2020. So, uh, as usual with most of the Autodex products, a lot of it is um, under the hood, so sort of back end kind of stuff. But when you look at the Infraworks page, um, we do get uh, listings. So we've got save back to ArcGIS. So so we can uh, make some changes to the data in Infraworks and save it back into ArcGIS. So I guess some good news there if you are using that for some of your data inside your Infraworks models. Uh, and there is a couple more here, extending the schema transfer between features and spreadsheet edits of structures. But there was another one here I wanted to have a look at was the road grading cut and fill material. So here I've got a road that has some uh, cut and fill features here. So you can see some cut there and some fill over here. But what we can do with that now is when we select it, we've got uh, material for the cut and material for the fill. So what I might do is just change um, the cut to be red and let's change the fill to be uh, let's go blue okay and I'll make it I'll make it 50 meters just for argument's sake so now I guess visually you can see what is going to be cut and what is going to be filled so we can do different uh, materials on them for, for each one so we'll do the same for this other road here and then do the fill in blue and make it 50 meters as well. Okay, so you could put it as, as, a, as a terrain, as, as grass or sand or whatever it is, but then this way, you know, it's, it's quite easy to see what is cut and what is, is filled just sort of quickly and visually. Now, the other thing that uh, I haven't seen too much mention of, but it has, has come about is traffic simulation is now local. It doesn't uh, send it up to the cloud. So it's all uh, running off here. So I have already set aside a new traffic uh, simulation area taking into account these four roads. Uh, but let's just adjust that out a little bit. Yep, it's fine. And then I can just do it to this one. Not that there's any, any uh, intersections in here, but we can have a look at that anyway. So now I want to look at per lane for a long morning and then I'll click on run. Okay, so normally with uh, 2019 and previous, this had to go up to the cloud to be run, but now it's all being done locally. And if you have a look at the release notes for 2020, you'll see uh, the wording in there that um, they changed it from running it from a cloud to a local simulation. So uh, I'm just gonna let that run and then we'll see what it looks like when uh, it gives us the results back. And there you can see the simulation has been run, hasn't gone up to the cloud, but now locally I can see uh, what's going to happen around these intersections. You can see these these red boxes here that it's a, a 56 meter queue and a delay of 68 seconds. If we play that, then you can see the cars driving up and down uh, to those intersections there and you can see how long they're going to be waiting for. So again, some good news for people who weren't interested in utilizing the cloud for um, for traffic simulation, you can now run it locally. So I'm just going to stop that. And another one as well, if you wanted to see, so again, I just found this online. If you press Control, Alt, Shift and F, you get down the bottom right hand corner an FPS meter. So as I scroll around, you can see it drops down to 16, 15, and then as I zoom in, we've got up to 40, 20 odd frames per second there as well. So I guess for all you techie nerds out there who are interested in, in what kind of FPS you're gonna get in Infrax, press Control, Alt, Shift, and F, and you get that little marker down the bottom. So thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of, all of my videos. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more Autodesk uh, 2020 products. See you later.